Let's talk about quarrying. Quarrying, the process of extracting minerals from the ground, is essential to life as we know it. Our nation's economy relies heavily on quarried mineral products, in particular aggregates. That's crushed rock and the sand and gravel that are the focus of Hill's quarrying operations. Quarrying provides construction materials needed to build everything from our homes to our roads and railways. Minerals are vital for agriculture, are used to filter our water, and are found in many everyday items that we take for granted. The demand for aggregates is enormous. Around 60 tonnes are needed to build the average house, that's around three truckloads. When you look at the scale of construction going on nationally, it is easy to see how important quarrying is to our economy. Quarrying has been happening for centuries. Hill's own history in the industry goes back to 1919. Mineral products are a limited resource so their extraction is highly regulated. Volumes are carefully planned to match demand and sourced locally where possible to minimise road transportation. The siting of quarries is a matter of geology, as minerals can only be extracted where they occur naturally. Once suitable land has been identified, a complex process requiring substantial investment begins. The planning and consultation process offers opportunities for Hills to engage with local people to explain the proposed plans. Extraction cannot begin until planning permission is granted. The quarrying process consists of a series of stages. Before excavation begins, the necessary action is taken to protect wildlife, plants or habitats that have been identified on the site. Any archaeological finds are recorded and or preserved. Soil above the mineral deposit is removed and used to create banks known as buns, which help to screen the quarry from the local community. The soil will be used later in the restoration phase. Trees may be planted to create additional screening. Indeed, the mineral products industry is responsible for planting tens of thousands of trees per year. Sand and gravel are then extracted in progressive phases until the amount agreed in the planning permission has been taken out. Phased working and restoration is better for the environment as nature is quick to colonise newly restored areas even when work is carrying on close by. Raw material dug from the ground is washed and graded before it can be used. This is the job of the processing plant. Excavated material is taken to the plant by conveyor or truck and fed into the hopper. It then passes through a washing drum before being separated into different grades and sizes of sand and gravel which are stored in stockpiles. The water used in the washing process is collected and recycled. Some hills quarries have a concrete plant on site where aggregates are mixed with cement to make ready mixed concrete which is then transported by mixer truck to local construction projects. Some sites include a bagging plant, where various products are bagged for delivery to commercial businesses. Truck movements are monitored using real-time GPS systems, and the number of trucks and the routes they take are agreed as part of the planning process. Road safety is a priority for hills. All our trucks are fitted with camera technology that alerts drivers to the presence of cyclists in blind spots, reducing the risk of accidents. Hills participates in the Mineral Products Association Cycle Safe campaign, which aims to protect vulnerable road users. Our drivers are given awareness training, and members of the public are invited to special events where they can better understand the risks cyclists face if they cannot be seen by a driver. Safety is also a priority back at the quarry. Hills is committed to the industry-wide Stay Safe campaign. Security fencing and warning signs keep trespassers out for their own safety, and strict on-site procedures and routing plans keep the workforce safe. Hills employees receive extensive health and safety training and regular updates, while all visitors undergo an induction to understand the site safety procedures. Hill's commitment to health and safety has been recognised through the award of the prestigious Sir Frank Davies Trophy. 
local school children and other groups are given opportunities to visit and understand the operational life cycle of a quarry and to explore the ecology and archaeology found on site. Going back to the quarrying process, we've now reached the final stage, the restoration. Space created through mineral extraction can be filled in a number of ways. Final restoration can return land to its original use, such as agriculture or forestry, or transform it into something quite different, such as a recreational area with lakes and wildlife habitats for the community to enjoy. Some of the finest leisure facilities and nature reserves in the country have been created after quarrying. Working closely with organisations like Natural England, the RSPB and local wildlife trusts, Hills has won industry recognition for its quarry restoration work, including a special award from the Mineral Products Association for its contribution to the restoration of the Cotswold Water Park in Gloucestershire. Land that has yielded the minerals we need to support our way of life is returned at the end of the process. We only borrow the land and take care to give back something that is as good, if not better, when our work is done. Thank you.